Hi and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Nikki Kirk and today I'm going to walk you through eight Amazon seller hacks, some that I learned from members of my community, some that I learned on my own just randomly, and today I'm going to walk you through them because some of them you might know and some of them you might be like mind blown like I was. All of these eight seller hacks are items that I just figured out in the last year, in 2021, some of them like within the last couple of months. So hopefully you don't go five years of selling like I did before you start using these and now you can just know them because they will make your life a little easier. So if you've been selling on Amazon, you probably know about Keepa and Keepa is a must have tool. Honestly, you just have to have it you can do the free one, but you're really gonna save yourself a lot of headaches if you get the paid one. And with the paid subscription, you get buy box statistics. And what that is, is it tells you if Amazon shares the buy box. So if you are listing a product and you see Amazon is selling it, now if you know me, I don't sell if Amazon is selling it. But if you do happen to notice that they're selling it and you do kind of want to maybe take a chance, this buy box statistics will really help you know if Amazon shares the buy box. Now it used to only be on the desktop top version, but they recently added it to the app. So I'm going to walk you through it on the app. So I found an ASIN that Amazon's selling just to show you, and it actually ended up being a really great one because normally Amazon shares the buy box like 5% of the time, 8% of the time, but this one you'll see they share often. So it's a princess styling head that I recently scanned at Ollie's. Over here at the bottom is buy box statistics. You go ahead and click that. And then you can see here the seller Maximus deals which is a pretty big seller it looks like. 42% of the time they are winning the buy box. Then we have Amazon is winning it 33% of the time. This Philippians, let me try this again. This Philippians, 419 Enterprises, 10% of the time. Prime Boost, 6%. Latoya's Products, 4%. Funcom, 3 And then all these other ones, less than 1%. So it's just helping you know like if buying it, even though Amazon is selling it, is going to be a good gamble really it's making helping you make an educated fact driven choice so on this one it looks like amazon may have a deal with this other seller because i've never seen them give someone 42 percent of the time so between those what is that 75 percent of the time those two sellers amazon and the big one are getting it so it's just information to help you in your sourcing journey it's very loud here in this campground i am out traveling again which is awesome but it is kind of loud here that's florida over there and that's some kind of something where they're cutting up trees so it might get loud okay seller hack number two when you're scanning something and you want to look it up in keepa or in my case when i'm trying to list it in the bolo group but there's no asin on the app so when you're scanning something on amazon and you're searching a product like this so it's johnson and johnson oil and again, something I scanned to all these recently. So when we open it, you see it doesn't have this normal features and details area down here where you would be able to click through and get the ASIN. But what it does have is, if you go ahead and hit list right here, voila, there's the ASIN at the top. So you can just go ahead and copy it for there for whatever you need it for. Again, like I said, I usually am trying to share something in the Bolo group, or if you wanna go ahead and copy it and put it over into Keepa to look into it further. Seller hack number three. So everyone is always worried about counterfeit and IP complaints. And the difference between the two is IP is intellectual property, meaning whoever made that product owns the intellectual property, uh, rights over it and then there is counterfeit which honestly these days seems like just about anyone can submit a counterfeit complaint to Amazon which is super annoying. I actually got one recently and now I'm going to show you how you can identify them before you ever buy it or one of the reasons. It's not foolproof but this will really help you out. I noticed it for this item that I actually got a counterfeit for and I also noticed it on Pokemon. Here's what it looks like. So I'm going to look up the Morris plush which is what it was and you see here this top one says by Mattel that's correct Mattel made this toy but these other listings by Holoquin, Gaihus, well, I'm not even gonna pretend to say them, Haifengunda, Gifsus, Quek, I don't know what these are those are sellers who made the listing and what happened was I listed on one of those sellers listings and they issued it as counterfeit immediately. I don't know if it's some new rule that Amazon's doing or if you actually make the listing, then you can say everyone else is counterfeit. I don't know, it really sucked. But as I will send my plan of action into Amazon and I got it off of my account, it's nothing like, it's just 
It's annoying to deal with, but it's not the end of the world for your selling account as long as you deal with them quickly. So like I was mentioning on Pokemon, I think Pokemon has fixed almost all the listings because it was a little hard for me to find it, but I did find this one to show you. So you can see this Pokemon Sword and Shield limited gold steel case only plus character charm. It says it's by Pikachu when really it's by Pokemon is the brand. So those are different things that you want to look out for. Again, this one is the Nintendo Switch. It says it's by Nintendo and then this one under it says PDP. So you want to make sure it's by the brand that it should be. So if it's a Disney item, it's a Disney princess, it should be by Disney or Disney princess. If it's ever by some random thing, that is your clue that it's probably going to get hit with a counterfeit. Okay, seller hack number four. If you're ever packing up a shipment or you just need some extra labels, here is a quick way to print some extra labels for your products. I'm talking about FN SKU labels. So from your Seller Center account, you just go to Manage Inventory and then over here, you click the items that you want to have labels for and then you would just hit Print Item Labels. It's gonna ask you, yes, are these the ones? Yep. And then you put over here how many you want and go ahead and print them. While we're in Manage Inventory, I'll just go ahead and show you that if you ever need to do a removal order, you do that right here also. You just select the items and hit create removal order and then it'll take you and you just put in your address or wherever you want them sent. So that's all that you do that. So that was a two for one. But if you ever need to print labels, again, I didn't know that until probably early last year and it has been a lifesaver. Okay, seller hack number five. Now this one is tricky because it's like you got to use your, you got to think a little bit and it's a little bit of a risk taking, but here we go. So if you ever see an item like this, this elf on the shelf mermaid outfit. So you can see here, it says the low price is $14 and the FBA offer 14, new offer 14. However, when you go through and you click and look at the sellers, and I normally do this just to kind of get a better idea of like, is it only one seller that's at $14? There's a lot of sellers. Anyways, you can see up here that the buy box says it's $17.50. That means, and this was screen grabs I did during the holidays, but it's still, works now. So what that means is on the buy box right now on Amazon for customers shopping, it's saying the 1750 offer. And because of that, I could actually potentially sell it at 1750 also. However, you shouldn't buy it if you're not comfortable with the $14 profit because there's no guarantee that you're going to get it to sell at that price. It's doing that because maybe these $14 offers are in FC transfer and they're moving around warehouses and so they're not ready available to ship, but that 1751 is ready to ship if a customer orders it today, they can get it in 2 days, whereas the other one it may say, you know, you're not going to get it till February. And so that is how that works. Again, Again, it's like you have to use your own judgment on it and I still recommend do not buy it if you're not comfortable with that $14 selling price profit because it's a gamble and it's not expected that you will sell it for $17.50. But just wanted you to know as you're sourcing that is something you can take into account. Seller hack number six comes from Livia in the beginner FBA selling course group. It was asked like, what do you do about cell phone service if you don't have it in the store? And normally what I do is I'll just go and I'll put stuff in the cart and then I'll go take it towards the doors because usually there's doors that there's more service by the doors and I'll scan stuff there. Honestly, most of the times I'm just in and out of that store getting replants. But what she suggested, obviously if there's Wi-Fi in the store like Target or Walmart, connect to the Wi-Fi. But in stores like TJ Maxx where there isn't, if you actually restart your phone, it will connect to a cell tower that is closer to you. So for me, sometimes I'm driving over an hour to get somewhere and so I want to connect to a closer cell phone tower and possibly that will help your cell service. So that is something to try out if you ever run into the problem of no cell service. It's often asked like, are different carriers better? And honestly, nowadays they all are pretty much the same. In your area, you'll probably know which carrier is better. So maybe it makes sense to switch, but I've been all over the country and Verizon has been fine. There are just some stores that for whatever reason, seems like they have some kind of blocker in them. All right, seller hack number seven, you should definitely, whenever possible nowadays, instead of sending a help email, just go ahead and call them and you just do that right on the help ticket. So at the bottom of the help ticket, you put in whatever your problem is and if it's trying to guess your problem and it doesn't let you send a ticket, just say, this is not my issue, even if it was your issue. And then at the end, you'll be able to see here, it's like, hey, send an email, or you can press phone and it'll connect you right away. Someone will start calling on your phone and it'll robo you to someone to talk on Amazon. You get a lot better help 
Now, sometimes you might be on the phone for a while, but it's faster, quicker help than just the basically automatic robot emails that we are getting back in response. So whenever possible now, I recommend calling. Seller hack number eight. Do you ever find that you are using Walmart boxes and your tape does not stick? Because I've been doing that for four and a half years and finally someone said it's the Walmart boxes. Apparently there's something on the Walmart boxes that makes any tape not stick and I've gone through all the different kinds. I've tried Gorilla, I've done Duck, I've done Scotch, I've done them all. I have Uline tape, none of it really sticks and I feel like I'm using too much tape for my boxes. So. I got the Lowe's boxes and guess what? My tape sticks. So I don't know what it is, but it's not your tape. It's the Walmart boxes. I'm still going to use the boxes in a pinch, um, but just know that it's the boxes and not you and your tape because I was going crazy. I hope this video was helpful and hopefully you learned something. If one of these hacks was like mind blowing to you like it was for me, uh, the one for me was the ASIN. Like I could not, it would just drive me crazy that I'd have to type in the product and keep it to trying to find the ASIN. And then I learned, oh my gosh, I learned it on my own in store. I was like, oh, when I hit list, it's right there and voila. So let me know which one was like that for you, if any of them. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. Go ahead and hit subscribe, leave me a comment and I will see you back here for another Amazon selling video.